In this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and set up a very simple little flight simulator. And we're gonna be able to control both the pitch, yaw, and roll of the airplane. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Unity and I've already set up a basic scene. Now with this, I have the jet that I created. I went ahead and created this over in Asset Forge and then I brought it into my game. I also have a plane, which I'm using as the ground for the moment. I've also added a Cinemachine virtual camera. The reason I added a virtual camera was that I want to continually look at the player. I chose the jet and added it to look at. So that way my camera is always in one spot, but it's gonna continually look at the jet. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, a plane has three axes of rotation. Pitch, which is up and down, then yaw, which is left and right, and then roll, which is rotates around the Z axis, okay? So let's go ahead and create all three of those, and then we'll create our forward movement. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna select the jet game object, and I'm gonna add Playmaker FSM. And it's only gonna be one state here, and we will also make sure we name the Playmaker FSM. We're gonna name that as pitch. Then we're also gonna call the, the state as pitch. And this is gonna provide our up and down movement. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the default input manager, and we'll go ahead and get axes. The vertical axis is both our up and down arrow keys and the W and S key, vertical. And then a multiplier, this is going to depend based off of how fast you want the rotation to be. So again, something you're gonna play with. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose 20. And then you also have the option of choosing invert. We'll go ahead and just leave it as it is currently right now. And we can play with seeing how that feels in the game. Now that we were gathering those numbers, we need to go ahead and store it. So in this case, I'll just call this pitch. All right, and we wanna make sure this is every frame. Now that we're gathering that data, we need to use it. So in this case, what we're gonna do is use a set rotation. Now there's two options that we, we have here for rotation. I've got set rotation and rotation. Rotation will rotate our game object and then leave it at that rotation. But set rotation, it will rotate up to our multiplier of 20, then it'll go back to zero when we let go of our keys. So that way it's a little easier for the player in this very simple flight sim. We also wanna make sure this is every frame and we're gonna rotate around our X axis. So I'm gonna use my pitch that I stored up here in get access. So let's go ahead and just see that in action real quick. So if I hit my down arrow key, it should rotate up and vice versa. And it does exactly that. So if I hit my down key, it rotates up. If I hit my up key, it rotates down. One of the things I wanna do is to also limit the height of which the player can move. I'm gonna use a clamp position. You'll see this in action later, but we're gonna go ahead and add it now. Clamp position. So now that I have added it, we're gonna clamp the position of the player and we're gonna do a min and max Y values, so up and down. So I'm gonna uncheck those variables and we'll just put in a negative one and a three. Again, these are numbers you can play with and we also wanna make sure every frame. We have the pitch down and it works. So let's go ahead and add our next axes. So in this case, we're gonna add a new Playmaker FSM. And with this FSM, we are going to handle roll. Right, so a roll rotates around the Z axis. So we'll call this roll as well. And then we're gonna use get axis as well. So get axis. We're gonna rotate using our left and right arrow keys, which is using the horizontal inputs. So horizontal. Depending on how fast you want this to rotate, you can play with that just a little bit. But in this case, I'm gonna have it rotate about 45. I'm also going to invert this as well. So that way, when we're hitting our left arrow key, it will rotate to the left. If we had it the other way, if, if I didn't invert, it will rotate to the right. So you, again, that's something you can play with and it's easy to find out. So I wanna go ahead and store this number as our roll. And then I need to use it. So in this case, we are also going to set rotation because I want it to go back to zero when it's done instead of rotation. We're gonna use set rotation, make sure that is every frame, and we're gonna rotate around our Z axis. So we're gonna use roll here. So let's go ahead and just see this in action real quick. Let's give it a play. So if I hit my left arrow key and my right arrow key, you can see that my game object rotates left and right. Cool, so we have that working. Now the next axis that we need to uh, implement is our yaw, which is rotating our game object left and right. So in this case, we'll add a new Playmaker FSM and we will call this yaw. I also wanna make sure the Playmaker FSM is labeled as well. We'll call that yaw. 
And in this case, we are still gonna do our get access. So again, we are getting our keys and this is also going to be the horizontal. And the multiplier, uh, this is, I'm gonna go ahead and choose 45. That's something that you can play with to see how fast you want your game object to rotate. I do not need to invert this here because it'll work just the way we want it to. And I need to go ahead and store that. So I'm gonna call this as my yaw. As opposed to using set rotation, which rotates back to zero, we are going to use rotation. And the reason I'm using rotation because when we let go of our keys, it will leave it at the rotation that we left it at. So we're gonna go ahead and use rotate. And I want to, of the owner, we're gonna make this per second. And we're also gonna rotate around the Y axis. So again, we're gonna rotate around that Y. And we're gonna use our yaw. All right, so now we have all those set up. Let's go ahead and just give that a test real quick. And because I use rotate, when I rotate, it leaves it at that rotation angle. And when I rotate the other way, you can see it leaves it at that angle. All right, so you kind of get the idea. Now, the one thing we're missing is our forward movement. So let's go ahead and add that in real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new Playmaker FSM, and I will also call this forward move. And in this case, we are going to just have it move at a, at a constant rate for this demo. So in this case, we'll just do a translate position and we're gonna translate the owner. We're gonna have it move in the Z axis. So we're gonna just uncheck our variable there. So we can just put a number and I'll just say five. We are gonna do per second every frame as well. So now let's give this a test to see if it works. Oh yeah, so satisfying to be able to just have this thing fly around. So we now have a simple flight simulator that you can create with Playmaker. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.